founder and CEO of Blueprint Strategy, and he joins us tonight. Antoine, thanks for coming on. I'm sure you agree with the aims of Citibank and of YouTube and of Facebook. And I mean, you share the same politics uh, as most CEOs of these companies. But does it feel strange for you as someone on the left to find yourself encouraging corporate power shutting down ordinary people? The left was never for that. Why are they for that now? Well, before I'm on the left, before I'm anything political, Tucker, I'm a human being. And what right, I do so know I. is I know what it's like to, I, I know, but let me finish. I know what it's like to have to bury someone who you love due to being killed in a church in Charleston, as I experienced mm -hmm. almost three years ago. I also know what it feels like to see a do-nothing Congress and elected leaders across this country, both at the national and local level, not act after we've had these senseless uh, shootings, mass shootings we've had in this country. So I appreciate the courage of the business community, business leaders who have stepped up to say, you know what, if Congress in Washington, D.C., does not want to do anything, if general assemblies across the country do not want to do anything, oh. then let's lead by example. Let's be on the right side of history okay. and do something that the people we serve want to do. Because the truth of the matter is, so you agree with the, you agree with our corporate people, masters that democracy is stupid, and why would you I'm wait not, for I, actual Tucker, voters to, to weigh, to weigh not, in here? I am I, Tucker. I am not going it's, to use it takes, the language it takes of, courage of corporate. I'm not it, absolutely. To, I'm not going to use the language echo of elite opinion. What, uh huh. Are you going to okay. let me finish or are you going to continue? No, I'm just asking you. Point? I guess you I'm, don't, I, I, we, we don't believe in democracy you gonna, anymore. You have to let me, you're gonna have, are you going to let me finish or are you going to continue to talk loud and, and think that that's like the thing to do? Here's the bottom uh -huh. line. I appreciate these people for having courage, stepping up to the plate and acting on something that the people who occupy their businesses want. 70% of this people in this country, Democrat and Republican, want something done in the name let me, of government. Let me ask you a question. All right, I, I, I let you hold on. Slow down. Well, responding. Antoine, I'm going to, okay, so now you're happy now that the unelected functionaries at the world's largest companies happen to agree with you. They're doing something that you want. But what if they took a position that you're not in favor of? What if they said, I don't know, pick something. Black Lives Matter is bad. We're not going to let any more Black Lives Matter videos on YouTube. We're not, Citibank won't process any payment to Black Lives Matter. You'd say, well, wait a second. You control all credit cards, you control all videos, and you shut this down. Maybe you might feel differently. Can you see why there's perhaps a flip side to this? Of course I can, and that has happened in many instances. But here's no, the beauty hasn't. about living in... Here's the beauty about living in the United States of America. We have the ability to disagree with people who may not agree with us. And the truth be told, if you don't agree with YouTube, if you do not agree with Dick's Sporting Goods or Walmart or any of these corporations who have acted uh, in this manner of trying to reduce uh, another incident from happening, then don't shop with them. Do not but use me, their products. Me, do, don't do, buy does them. It, That's let, the let, me ask you, let me ask you, so if I don't agree with Google, which has a complete monopoly over all human information, it has a 90% monopoly on search, for example, so everything we know basically comes from Google. If I don't agree with them, I don't really have a lot of places to go. I mean, nothing against DuckDuckGo. As a liberal, does this level of corporate power, this concentration of power in the hands of a very small number of rich people, that doesn't bother you at all? Well, I'm not a liberal. I think I'm Antoine C. Wright, a person who has a political opinion. Number Does one, it bother number you? three, I agree. I agree with corporations who are stepping up to the plate, answering the call that some of our elected officials do not have the courage to do. Could there be a downside to settling problems when, a various, when the richest people in the world get together and say, we're going to impose this on a society? That's better than having elected officials vote to do something through the democratic process? Is that what you're saying? What I'm saying to you, Tucker, is the fact that we are three years from Charleston, six months from Vegas, a month or so from Parkland, and I don't know how long from some of the other mass shootings we've had, and nothing has been done in the okay. name of trying to change the so conversation. Whatever it takes, so, whatever therefore, it takes, if. It. No, there, Tucker, you know as well as I know that if mm -hmm. a small group of people get together, that mm -hmm. number will grow and something can be done. And I think yeah. that's what's happening. When a small people group of billionaires decide to shut down the speech. Corporations are going to be on the right the left side of applauds. history. Okay, yeah, we'll see. Antoine, thank you. I appreciate it. How about reasonable people, Tucker? What? This is a Fox News alert. White House National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster is out of a job. He'll be replaced by former 